Welcome again. This is over properties. So Pablo says 8 times 3 groups times m is equivalent to the same as 8 times m times 3. Why or why not? There are many ways you can explain this. Here's one way you can explain it. I know I had one person in my first period who said if, if I replace the m with the number 2. 2. You cannot even see that. Let me change color. Sorry about that. 2. 2. What is 3 times 2? 6. 8 times 6. What's 2 times 3? 6. 8 times 6. So when you multiply, does it really matter on which direction you multiply? You can either multiply forward or backward because it's called commutative property. 2 times 3 is the same thing as saying 3 times 2. So 8 times 6, 8 times 6. So another way is 3 times m is the same thing as saying 3m. So it's 8 times 3m, and m times 3 is the same thing as saying 3m. So that's why they're both equivalent. So uh, here's a little trivia. Um, they said that only 25% of 6th graders were able to answer this question correctly. Let's see if this is true or not. Colby thinks that 12 goes in the blank, while Logan thinks that 7 goes in the blank. Who is correct? 8 plus 4 is equivalent or is equal to something plus 5. Does 12 go in a blank or does 7 go in a blank? You can pause and think about it. Well, we'll go back. Let's see. So what is 8 plus 4? 12. So this side is equal to 12. So... Is 12 plus 5 the same thing as saying 12? No. Well, it cannot be this one. It's actually 7. 7 plus 5 is 12. So the side, the left side, is equivalent to the right side. So 8 plus 4 is 12. So, and then what do we add to 5 to have 12? So that both sides, because if you flip it around, 7 plus 5 is 12. 8 plus 4 is 12, so it's the same thing. All right, so today we're going to be talking about algebra tiles again. So it says, take out your highlighters. I personally like highlighting the constants. And then let me go down here and highlight them while I'm here. And that's it. And then highlighter. Then I highlight the variables. All right, so let's look at the first one. It says four. So let's draw it. Four plus two x plus three. Can I make this more simplified? Does anything cancel here? No. So it's two x plus 7. Could I say it as 7 plus 2x? I put these, these with these, these 3 with these 4 makes 7 plus 2x. So in commutative property, it does not matter which direction you write it down, 2x plus 7 or 7 plus 2x. Next one, negative 3x plus 1 plus x plus 3. What happens when you put a negative x for the positive x? They, these become zero pair. Bye-bye. Anything else simplify here? No. So we have negative 2x plus 4. Is there another way I can write this symbolically? I have 4 positive plus negative 2x. Is there another way I can write this symbolically? 4 minus 2x. This is the most simplest way of writing it. So is 5 times h the same as saying h times 5? How do you know? Again, I could replace h with the number 2. Is 5 times 2 the same as saying 2 times 5? 10. Yes, it is. Or 5 times h is 5h. h times 5 is also 5h. Next one. So associated property. So 2 plus 3x is plus 2x. I see... 2 plus 5x, or I say 5x plus 2. And what's two groups 
groups of three x's. Here's three x's. I need two groups of it, so it's six x. Could I say it as two times three is six? Six x? Yes, I can. So it's three times m times six, the same as saying three times m times six. Let's see. Three times, I could replace the m with two. Let me use a different pen color so you can see what I'm doing. Three times two is six. Six times six is 36. Three times, what's in here? That's 12. Three times 12 is 36. So yes, they are the same. Another way I could say it is three times m is three m times six. Three times m times six is six m. Is 3m times 6, the same as saying 3 times 6m, because 3 times 6 is 18m, 3 times 6 is 18m, so they are equivalent. And the last one, and here, using the algebra tile model, two groups of 4x minus 3. So 4x minus 3, but I need two groups. 4x minus 3, so I see 8 x minus 6 or negative 6 plus x. What if I do not like the algebra tile model? Could I have done it the area model? Two groups, 4x minus 3. How would you find the area of this rectangle? You do 2 times 4x is 8x. How would I find the area of this? 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. 8x minus 6. Up, oh, same answer. And the last one, three groups of x plus 2. Here's one group. I need three groups of x plus 2. Then minus 2x. What happens when you put an x with a negative x? x and a. These zero out, so I'm left with x plus 6. Or 6 plus x. So what you're going to be doing for the rest of the class here is you're going to be given two expressions, one on the left side and one on the right side. And you're going to explain to me, are they equivalent or not? I don't care how you do it. You may use it through explanation, using verbal. You may use algebra tile models. You may use area models, whatever you want to do. For example, I'll look at this one. I'm going to use area model for this one. Three groups of 4x plus 3. How do you find the area of this? 3 times 4x or 12x. How do you find the area of this? 3 times 3 is 9. So it's 12x plus 9. This says 7x plus 6. Way off. Way off. So not let me close. Oh, here's another one. It says 12x plus 3. Nope, it's 12x plus 9. They forgot to multiply three groups of 3 to get 9. And that is our thing over properties.